All right, so in this video, I'll focus on working out this question on construction. And this question here comes in paper two at grade nine. So this question has four parts, Roman numeral one, two, three, and four. So starting with Roman numeral one, use geometrical instruments to construct an equilateral triangle ABC with side eight centimeters. So the equilateral triangle that we are going to construct is going to have eight centimeters each side. So for that, we start by drawing the base and the base is going to have eight centimeters. And in this case, I'll use two letters A and B for the base. So then after drawing the line, I will indicate one end of the line as A and one end of the line as B. To come up with the point C, I will use a compass. So I insert the pencil in the compass and make sure it doesn't move. And then come up with the measure 8 centimeters using a meter rule. So the meter pointer, I will put it at zero and then adjust where there is a pencil to measure 8 centimeters. Then after taking this measurement of 8 centimeters, from the two points that I came up with, the point A and the point B, starting with B, I'll draw a locus of point that is 8 centimeters away from B. And also at A, I'll come up with a locus of point that is 8 centimeters away from A. And this will give me the point C, where those two points will intersect. So I'll draw lines from B to C and also from A to C. So this year will mean that uh, I've come up with uh, the equilateral triangle ABC, which has uh, all sides equal. Then going to Roman numeral 2, bisect angle BAC and angle ABC and let the angle bisectors meet at O. For the next part, I'll use a compass as well and focus on the angle A and the angle B. So starting with angle A, I'll come up with a small measure for the compass and then make a locus of points on the line AC and the line AB. So using the same measure. And then from these two marks that I've made, at the intersecting point, I'll come up with a locus of point inside the triangle from each of those two marks. And then the intersecting point of the two marks will give me the bisector okay so even at b i do the same come up with the two points on the two lines a b and b c and then from each of those two marks come up with the locus of point inside the triangle and then from the point b i'll use the meter rule draw a line from the point b passing through the intersecting point so this here is a bisector for angle b then also for angle A from the point A passing through the intersecting point. So that also is a bisector for angle A. And then indicating the intersecting point of the bisectors as O. Moving on to the next question, which is Roman numeral 3. Draw a perpendicular from O to the side AB. Label the point where the perpendicular meets AB as D. Okay, so going to the diagram, I'll use a compass for this part and I'll place the metal pointer at O and uh, extend the compass so that uh, the pointer for the pencil goes below the line AB and then draw a locus of point that meets the line AB at two points. And then from the two intersecting points of the locus of point and the line, I'll come up with two points that will intersect. So using the same measure from each of those two points, come up with an intersecting point for the two locus of points and then draw a line from O to meet the intersecting point of those two locus of points. So this here is a perpendicular from O. The perpendicular from O and the line AB intersect at this point. So we need to put a letter at this point and this letter is D. So I'll label this as D. But then let me use a pen for this. So this point is the point D where the perpendicular from O and the line AB intersect. 
All right, so moving on to the last part, which is Roman numeral four, with center O, draw a circle which touches the three sides of the triangle ABC. All right, so for this part, what we are just going to do is ensure that the circle touches the three sides of the triangle. So I'll use OD as a reference. So OD is radius. So I just have to make sure that the circle passes through the point D there and also touches the line AC and also the line BC. Okay, and then just simply draw it using a compass like that. So making sure that it touches all the three sides of the triangle. So this here is a circle that touches all the three sides of the triangle. All right. So thank you so much for following through and uh, thank you so much for watching this video.